Oh, Sean Strickland, like, beating up Sneeko, trying to drop him, which was embarrassing that he couldn't. He went all out. And I guarantee he will respect me after I crack his dumb ass. Ah, okay. Dudes watch tranny porn. Load out. Beat Sh Yeah, he beat... Let's be honest, he beat Sean, bro. <laughs> let's tweet about Sneeko beating Sean. <laughs> and, uh, I suspect that it might be daddy issues. I'm ready to go. I'm ready. I think that'd be fun. Wait, it wasn't even, like, an aggro situation? Sneakle has been going viral lately for getting his face smashed in by Sean Strickland. Oh. It was a pretty brutal and hard to watch fight, but most people don't even know how this even started. Nice to meet you, Sneeko. What's up, man? What's your name? Sneeko. Congrats on the win and everything. Sneeko, who the f*** you, Sneeko? I'm just a guy I'm working on everything. What do you do? I do train. I do some boxing. Are you an influencer? So I, I don't like that term. What are you? At this time, Sean Strickland didn't even know who Sneeko was, but just from Sean Strickland's reaction and body language, it was clear his influencer detective radar went off the charts. I'm a guy, man. What are you? I'm a MMA fighter. Are you, is he an influencer? I guess so. I guess, I guess so, yeah. Sneeko objects a bit when Sean calls him an influencer, but what else could Sneeko be if he is an influencer? A cuck? Very public about how he used to go to these swinger parties. I think he says four in total over the course of like two weeks where he watched his girlfriend get by other men, even telling the story of how he was literally in the bed watching his girl get by a different man, moaning intensely, and it, it was traumatizing. Yet he recommends that everyone should try it at some point for some reason. After this little interaction, Sean would do a little digging into Sneeko, which he sent out a post reading. What advice would you give Sneeko? I got sent this with a little backstory on this man. 1. Don't let dudes tee off on your girl. 2. Andrew Tate is a con artist. 3. Act like a man. After this, they would meet once more at a Trump rally before the quote sparn match, which did not end well at all for Sneeko. Sean Strickland. Absolutely not, Sean. Absolutely not, Sean. We don't do that I over here. I respect that, bro. Okay. Well, we gonna fucking spar, bro. I heard we're gonna send that shit up and get it out. I'm ready to go. I'm ready. I think that'd be fun. Hey, we'll link up, bro. All right, all right, I'll hit, up, I'll hit up Pearl and then we'll fucking link up. Me, you, and Pearl. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll fucking get messy. Okay, Sean. Yeah. Well, that's gonna hurt. That's gonna... It's gonna be painful. If you don't know, Sean Shulton is known for being a menace to his sparring partners and even to regular day-to-day -day civilians. Before the quote sparring match, Sneeko was warned countless times that Sean Strickland wouldn't go easy on him, especially after finding out that Sneeko is an influencer, which Sean Strickland hates more than anything in the world and sees them as less than men. It's, it's stupid because you're not a pro, but there's guys that just want to like, they think it's like funny to like knock you out because like your boy Strickland. If he hopped in and sparred him, he'd knock him out for sure. He would? Yeah, oh, for yeah, sure. Everyone keeps in the yeah, chat saying he trains here. He, 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 yeah, he's cool, he's cool. He's cool, he's cool, but don't ask him to don't ask him to spar. Don't ask him to spar? No, he'll try to knock you out. As the match began, Sean Strickland made it clear Sneeko was going to be in a world of hurt, but things wouldn't actually turn out as Sean Strickland expected, as you would soon see. The first few minutes, Sneeko looked like he was doing well, even landing some good shots on him, but obviously, Sean Strickland wasn't trying, but neither was Sneeko as Sneeko didn't put much power into his punches. Just as someone says, Sneeko is not doing bad. Things escalated. It's funny how the corner were throwing towels into no avail. They were even dying laughing.
After this incident, there were many mixed reactions and opinions on the ethics of Sean Strickland's barn match against Nico, which some saw as bullying and others saw as well deserved. He's connecting with his head. It's wild that he can't even knock him out. Other influencers such as Jake Paul and Bryce Hall would come to defend Sneeko and challenge Sean Strickland himself. Actually seeing like that shit made me mad. That's what I thought he was gonna do. And dude, I wanna see like, he's known for being a hard spar. Respect, like respect, he's like a, a great UFC fighter. But him doing that, champion. I would love to just do that to kind of show him. Don't disrespect our, in, our, our influencer world, bro. Training, training is training, fighting is fighting. You always respect the man across from you in a ring, no matter who they are. And I guarantee he will respect me after I crack his dumb ass. Bryce Hall wanted to give Sean Strickland a taste of his own medicine. And if you thought Bryce Hall was delusional, wait until you see Jake Paul's reaction. I saw Sean Strickland like beating up Sneeko, trying to drop him, which was embarrassing that he couldn't. He went all out. I just tweeted at him, Sean Strickland, you're embarrassing for trying to stop Sneeko like that. You weren't even able to drop someone with no experience while going all out. You're a horrid boxer that only picks on inexperienced people, which is true. If you see all these clips of him like beating up random people in the gym, he never spars anyone good. I'll fly you to PR and we can fight on camera. If you win, I'll give you one million, which is half of his net worth. But just like Patty Pimblet, I'm guessing you'll find a way to run. Jake Paul even made posts to antagonize Strickland, but Strickland would just reply with the most scary and real message. Real talk. Jokes aside, Jake Paul is an utter f joke. You box retired old MMA fighters. You sell sugar water to kids. If it were legal, I'd take your f life with a smile on my face. Is there any place on earth I can take this man's life and walk? Jake Paul would go on to offer $1 million to Sean Strickland, but Sean Strickland would surprisingly back out. So Jake Paul offered me a million dollars, knowing it is impossible for me to do that. Jake Paul is that no, Paul Logan. Jake Paul is an influencer. He influences, he sells the children. Children don't buy pay-per-view, so I don't know, man. Get some adults to follow you and then and then you fight. While Bryce Hall and Jay Paul's reaction were to stand by Sneeko, Orange Canelo and Sugar would have a more mixed opinion on the matter. Uh, dude, did you see? Uh, did you see Strickland beat up Sneeko? Yeah. What did you think of that? I mean, I, I thought it was f***ed up. I didn't think it was f***ed up at all. I threw in the towel. Well, yeah. If someone came in here and wanted me to f peck around with them because I'm a professional, I'm a champ, and they. I, they want to get a little taste of what it's like. I'm not going to... Did you see how yeah, but, hard he was trying to hurt him? And if you thought that was strange, then you definitely haven't seen Andrew Tate's absurd thoughts on Sneeko versus Strickland fight. Yeah, that was that was crazy. I, I mean, Sneeko took the licks, but... Sh what was his name? Sean. Sean was trying Sean. to hurt him. Yeah. I don't know what's That's going on. That's a weird, I, I You know, yeah. don't you just kind of feel like the whole f world is weird? <laughs> and everyone's weird because let me tell you something that most people don't ponder or contemplate but with my massive monumental global intergalactic cognition it crosses my mind every time i see any form of degeneracy or anything i don't like for example hmm. ah okay dudes watch tranny porn that's weird cool i'm in the same the boat as you guys how do you go from sneako getting brutally beaten by strickland to tranny porn that might have been weird but it's nothing compared to circa who made some questionable and scummy comments on how sneako could take advantage of the match he had with strickland like if you were in sneako's shoes would you do that look at that sneako with the loadout beat Sh yeah he beat let's be honest he beat sean bro <laughs> let's tweet about sneako beating sean <laughs> See, the problem I is, I just, I just can't see. the problem is Sneeko doesn't know how to milk and monetize. All he has to do is make merch saying, I won, with Strickland's face with two X's on the eyes. That's exactly what I'd do. Like, that's all you got to do to, like, get 20,000 new viewers arguing in chat. You didn't win! <laughs> but even stranger and crazier is Mighty Mouse's reaction to all of it. He thought Sean Strickland should have won a medal after beating up the poor kid. And look at his nose. Hey, he's still sporting a smile. You need to small down. Ladies and this is the man we need for president. He will handle any bullshit that comes to. It gets even more wild as Hard to Hurt would say Strickland's behavior was due to daddy issues. Why did it happen? And uh, I suspect that it might be 
daddy issues. Hazan's take on it is probably how most of us feel, as he just felt sorry for Sneeko. All jokes aside, though, I think Sneeko does have a humiliation fetish. Absolutely not, Sean. We don't do that over here. I respect here. that, bro. Okay. What were you fucking smart, bro? I heard we're gonna set that shit up and get it. I'm ready to go. I'm ready. I think that'd be fun. Wait, it wasn't even like an aggro situation? That's nuts he literally that was supposed to be a friendly spar that's the energy he brought to a friendly spar dude that shit sucks dude get the f out of here sneaker would actually come out saying he has mental problems after sean strickland lit him up i would expect so as he took many hard hits from the ufc middleweight champion without falling which he probably has brain damage now You were trying to, you were trying to make me fall? Bro, I was trying to. All you had to do is fall and I would've stopped. <laughs> Bro, that was a test of Hey, thanks, man. sneeko has been going around sparring and training with many professional fighters. I respect Sneeko for doing so, and I also respect him for actually forgiving and being cool with Strickland after the incident. Leave a comment and share your thoughts on it if you also agree. Yeah. Everybody who's saying that he went too hard, bro, this is what he does. I knew that going into it, that's what I expected. He's, he didn't step over the lines at all. 